Okay, so we come to the most interesting, uh, the most interesting part of uh, of English grammar, and that is parallel construction. Parallel construction can help you become a good writer. Please understand this. Uh, unlike the subject verb agreement, the pronoun, the tenses, the punctuation, and many other rules, the academic rules of of English grammar, parallel construction is all about writing well. Please understand this. So if you want to become a good writer, you must understand uh, the importance and the nuances of parallel construction. This, there is not much of concept in, in uh, we don't have many concepts in parallel construction the way we have it. Uh, we have concepts in, in subject verb agreement, pronouns, tenses, punctuations and many other similar kinds of uh, English uh, grammar uh, technical topics. Uh, so let's see what is parallel construction. William Strunk, one of the uh, a great, uh, a great, uh, I would say, editors of the newspaper. Here he wrote the book uh, The Elements of Style, and in that book he says expressions of similar content and function should be outwardly similar. In other words, similar ideas must be logically comparable and must have the same grammatical form. So I repeat that again. In other words, similar ideas must be logically comparable. So first of all, there has to be similar ideas in the sentence. And ideas can be similar only when they are logically comparable. So, if you say that I love reading books and singing songs, that makes complete sense. Why? I love reading and writing. It's simple. I love reading and singing. You can, uh, you can love lots of things, right? And these two are just two things. But if you say I love reading and apples, then I would say something is definitely wrong here. Why? Because these two ideas are not comparable. You might love many things, but how can you compare I love reading and apples? You might say I love oranges and apples, I love reading and cooking, but you cannot compare reading with apples, right? So they should be logically comparable. And secondly, they must be in the same grammatical form. So if I say that reading and singing, they both are gerunds. Apples and oranges, if I if if I replace reading with oranges, then it becomes I love oranges and apples. Again, they are in the same grammatical form. They both are nouns, right? So, let's recap. What is parallel construction? Parallel construction means similar ideas must be logically comparable and they must be in the same grammatical form. Let's, let's, let's take examples and that will clear the concept, right? Napoleon was an ambitious vengeful and capricious dictator is what statement one says statement two says uh, napoleon was full of ambition vengeful and capricious now we have a problem this sentence does not sound correct at least to a good english speaker it sounds awkward napoleon was full of ambition he was full of vengeance and full of caprice so statement two is incorrect because the first case we have Noun. He was full of noun ambition. But here you have adjective. So you noun and then you have adjective and then you have adjective too. So this is not right. Either you have all three nouns. Napoleon was full of ambition, vengeance and caprice. Or Napoleon was an ambitious, vengeful and capricious dictator. But to say that he was he was full of ambition, vengeful and capricious would be considered grammatically incorrect. Just as in the first sentence, all the three ideas are adjectives. So in the third example, all the three ideas are nouns, right? So either you you have all three adjectives or all three nouns, but not a mix of the of not a mix of both, and that would make the sentence unparalleled, right? So this is all about parallel construction. Now we will take uh, some some very good examples of parallel construction we will see what things are always in parallel what kind of things can come in parallel and how 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 do we get to know that yes there is parallel construction somewhere coming or how can you expect parallel construction in a sentence we will go to the next video